YouTube, it's not your boy because you don't know who I am. It's Dre Day. Every day is our day. What is poppin'? You know, another special day, another special video. And if you see on my channel, it's not a Yu-Gi-Oh video because I actually don't like playing Duel Links anymore. Uh, so I downloaded, remember when I said I had the Yu-Gi-Oh game on my Switch? Even though I said I didn't like it, that's my only Yu-Gi-Oh game I had. So I ended up really liking that over Duel Links because Duel Links is a whole different game. So hey, instead here's this video. And this video is what I want for, I guess you can call it the next Switch, or the Super Switch, the Pro Switch, whatever you want to call it. Just the more advanced Switch that, hopefully at least, that they're going to make. I'm like, I'm like 80% sure they would. Like, why wouldn't they want to make that? It's even more money, and then it, it just leads to even more money. I'm so excited to make another video, man. It's been like a month, and I don't know why. It's, well, I do know why. It's actually because, uh... There's a lot of other people in this house and I'm kind of embarrassed to record while other people are in the house. So that's why. But, I'm super excited now. The most important thing in the entire world that the Switch needs to be fixed. It's the number one thing. The number one thing, bro. It's the most important thing. And it's the kickstand. This little thing. <laughs> this little ah. is that allowed? Maybe fix this little thing right here, as you just saw, is not very good. It's super cheap, super cheap. I don't know why they couldn't just put another one on the other side. At least it could have just been two. That would have been so like that would have been so easy. Let me see. That would have been so easy, I don't see the reasoning. Because with just one, it always just falls over. Okay, good. It always just falls over, man. Like, all the time. It always falls over all the time, man. Like, I'll literally just post it up on the table. Someone breathes on it, and it just tumbles across the room. So, can we please? I would prefer, like, honestly, though, if we could. I know these are the air vents. Right here, I know these are the air vents for it to breathe, I believe, and, and then this one too. Why don't we like put it up here and then just make this whole thing the, make this whole thing the uh, kickstand. Like, <clears throat> like honestly, like this is the, this is the battery, like an ex external battery pack you can attach to the switch. But look at this kickstand, bro. It's the whole middle piece. It's freaking huge, bro. It's a thick boy. Compared to that little scrawny soy boy, like this is this is a this is a grown man right here, man. So I don't I don't understand why they don't do that. But you know that's that's why I want the next one to be that. Alright, this is my number one thing at least. I feel like they should have done this for sure for sure on this this switch. And that is a bigger screen. Now what I mean, I don't want the Switch to be bigger because I feel like the Switch is already a really good size. But what I mean is I would want the Switch to get rid of all of this extra stuff. Like all this extra stuff compared to this screen, man. Like, that's, can you imagine if the whole thing was the screen? You know how nice that would look? It would just make, this, it'd make the whole Switch bigger too, honestly. It'd be easier to hit scratch though. But still, my Samsung Galaxy S10 has an infinity screen. Boy, that thing is nice. So can you imagine this? This big thing right here? Oof. I don't even think it'd be that hard either. I mean, I guess it'd look weird because of the speakers. But then then again, the switch, the switch light speakers are on the bottom now. So I don't think it'd be that crazy to change it. Or you can rearrange the speaker somewhere else if you really wanted to. The bigger screen is definitely the right move to do for the next switch. This one's pretty obvious, so I didn't even know if I wanted to throw it on here. But obviously, better CPU power, better, like, more powerful together. Of course, of course. Can you imagine? More powerful, you can actually play The Witcher semi-better looking on the Switch. I'm not saying the Switch isn't powerful by any means. It's not the best thing in the world, but, like, it's still playing very optimized, though. PS, PS3 games and Xbox 360 games. 
So I feel like if we at least gave it a little more CPU power, it would just make everything run a lot better. Like less frame drops and faster load time. I just think that's just a better move to do altogether. Can you imagine? Like, because Pokemon, everybody's talking mad smack about it, but Pokemon, you literally walk away or close to something and it just sh zroom, 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 zroom. It just gets bigger and then smaller and disappears. So if you had a better CPU, it would at least work a little better. So it doesn't always pop up like that and you get out of the immersion of Pokemon. Definitely not that computer Xbox or the PS5 is going to be able to run on the Switch. But maybe if we gave it a little more CPU power, we can also get a few PS4 or Xbox One games. That'd be kind of crazy too. Altogether, the most obvious thing, better CPU power, please. This one they can actually do now. And it's not even an upgrade. What I mean is... The you can change like the back plate, like design it, please. Like the only thing we have, the only thing we have, I believe is like Pokemon and Diablo. I think those are the only two back plates that are different on the Switch. Why does the 3DS have 80 different versions? <laughs> why, does, why does it have that? And the Switch only has like two other versions. The, the Switch Lite though, that's cool that they added different colors. But the Switch only has this ugly plate. I'm gonna replace it myself pretty soon. But why do I need that when I could have just bought like a special edition version? So this is not really a, a thing I want for the future one. I kind of just want that now. I feel like that'd be so easy to do now. But I'm not Nintendo and they don't want more money, I guess. So I know my channel's kind of like low key turning into a top five and I kind of don't want that at all. But the only two videos I have, which are before this one, this one and the one before this, are kind of just like top five slash wishlist things. So, it kind of sucks. But whatever. Continuing on, my next thing is, I don't, I, this one I definitely don't see being changed at all. And the reasoning is because then it would confuse a lot, a lot of people. But I would want the Joy-Con to be slightly different. And what my design would probably be, would be, at least the button figure, that's the number one thing that should probably change. Because playing single Joy-Con, which I don't recommend playing just the Joy-Con, I'd recommend getting like some attachment to put in. But these buttons are so small. And it's, I don't got the biggest hands, but it's definitely like, it definitely makes me feel like I got the biggest hands, I'll tell you what. That's, that's the main thing, they should at least change the buttons. Another thing, this one I don't see happening at all either. I mean this whole this whole concept I don't see working. I would really like a hump in the back, a little junk in the trunk if you know what I mean. Holding the actual switch sucks. Like holding it for a long time sucks a lot. Especially back here because there's nothing to really grip on and the, the, the way it's angled, the switch is angled, is not like perfect, the best design for your hands to be holding something for so long. My, my right hand does cramp up a lot. Luckily, I just bought that Satisfy Grip, and I might make a review on it depending on how I feel about it. So I'm super excited about that, so I can try to see how, like, cause the videos I've watched about it, people always say how they never play without it now. So that's why I'm super excited for that. Besides that, the Switch by itself ergo ergonomically just is not the move. And so I feel like at least if they would put the, if they would put humps on the back of the Switch, at least there's something to, like, hold on to because I feel like there's not even anything to hold back here at all it's like you know what this you know what this reminds me of you know what this makes me feel like it gives me the vibe of my favorite portable console and it's a Game Boy Advance SP Now let me show you why. Here's the switch. See how flat it is and it's super long. So my hands are not comfortably gripping anything compared to a remote how you wrap your hands around something so you have a grip. This is a flat surface with my fingers just kind of out here. There's nothing really to hold. Now the reason I say that's compared to the Game Boy. Now here's the Game Boy. A flat surface but the only thing is not long. It's super small, 
and there's nothing to grip. There's nothing to wrap your hands around. Especially also it's small so my hands start getting super uncomfortable. But the only thing better the Game Boy has over the Switch is literally the button placements are perfect for your thumbs at least. While over here my right hand starts cramping because of the way the placement is of me trying to reach over to the buttons. But I feel like they both have that same problem. I saw a grip to the Game Boy and I would never do that. I feel like it's so weird looking. I would change that on the Joy-Con as well. Those are the two things I could think of for the Joy-Cons. If there's anything else you could think of that you'd want different on the Joy-Cons, please leave a comment down below and I would definitely read it for sure to see if your ideas are right or wrong. My last thing I'd want on the Switch, the Pro Switch, is kind of already been fixed, but I would want even more of it, and that is the battery. So on the new Switch version of the original Switch, they added a longer battery life, which is great, but I want even more. The more the better, you know? The longer I can play without needing to charge it, the better it is. So that's why I kind of let this last, because it's already been touched, it's already been kind of fixed. But you know, more battery life is always a better thing to do. But I have the old Switch, so I don't actually know. I don't actually get the feeling, the sensation of long battery life. So that's why I have that external battery pack you saw earlier in the video. So maybe, maybe when they get the Switch Pro, I can finally feel that. But that's the last thing. I made it short, sweet, and simple, that last thing, because it doesn't really need to be touched that much. Alright, guys! I did it! I made a whole other video, and it's up on the channel for you to watch now! This is epic! Your normies finally get to know my other opinion about something else that's irrelevant, when there's literally world hunger! But alright, guys. Thank you for watching another video. If you watched all three of my videos on my channel, you get a... Alright, wow, clap it up guys, clap it up. But for real, thank you so much for watching another video. And if you did enjoy it on some homeless stuff, please, please give me a like. Please drop a comment down below. I would really greatly appreciate everything that you've done guys. Thank you for watching, and if you want, you can subscribe as well. I don't know when I'm going to make another video because it seems like it's going to take forever. Once a month, I kind of like that. Once a month. Once a month sounds good, right guys? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please, please comment, share, whatever you want to do with it. Burn it, throw your phone out the window while I'm, while I'm on it. Whatever you want to do, do it. So thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. This screen would have been big. You don't even need to make the actual switch bigger. Just the screen. Oh my God, I'm talking way too much. Let me start it all over. All right, so the oh, <clears throat> right, so the last thing I put on my top five list is.